What's up everybody, welcome back to another video within the Generative AI tool series. And in this video, we'll be talking about how you can create a assistant uh, based in Hugging Chat. So we've explored Hugging Chat in our previous video where we actually introduced Llama 3.1, four or five billion parameters. Um, as you can see, uh, this is the list of models that are available in Hugging Chat. So we have Llama 3.170B Instruct. We have Llama 3.1405B. So um, obviously this comprises of most of the open source models and you can use any of these models to build a assistant within Hugging Chat. So uh, they released a new feature and as you can see over here, uh, you can create your assistants and even share your assistants. So it's more like creating a domain specific GPT for yourself, something that you can do in chat GPT as well. But for a long time, it wasn't free. It was, I believe, for uh, pro or plus users. So but you can do it over there as well. And you can do it over here as well. Uh, it's just that this is more open sourced and you can choose your specific models and hook them up with your assistants if you feel like you're not doing well with one particular model, you can swap it with another open source model. So that's the beauty of it. So I'll go ahead with, you know, uh, creating my assistant. I don't have a avatar right now. Uh, for the name, I'm just gonna call it a movie assistant. Yep, there we go. And in terms of description, well, all right. So you're a movie assistant. You will be my guide for previous and upcoming movies. You will present a movie in terms of summarized plot, its rating, its IMDb and Rotten Tomato score. Pretty decent. So the model hooked to this particular assistant is the newly released Llama 3.1405B, but you can select more models over here. Currently, I'm just interested in 4B because I've been playing around with it. Uh, if you want to learn more, again, you can see our previous video. We presented some of the benchmarks around Llama 3.1 in quite detail and some of the comparisons as well. You can add starter messages. So we can say type in hasta la vista and moving forward. Do we need internet access? Yes, I think I would require internet access in terms of imdb.com. So I'm just going to go here and copy it. I'm going to add a comma and Rotten Tomatoes copy and paste. And that's it. Pretty decent stuff. And I'm going to hit create. Oh, I think we left this empty. We have to fill it up. OK, so you will be asked about to tell a plot or rating regarding a specific movie or movies. Uh, make sure you go through the links provided and fetch information from there and then address the query in a precise and neat format. I think we are good to go. And there we go. Our movie assistant is ready to be used. We have a direct URL which we can copy and share with our folks. All right. So I'm going to hit this URL and we are on our movie assistant and we can just like start chatting and there we go. Hasta la vista baby as our star message. Pretty neat. Let's ask it a question. Uh, tell me about Godfather sequels. A few minutes later. All right, so we get a response. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find information on Godfather sequels in the provider link. The link seems to be focused on current and upcoming movies. That's fine, but it provided us with a summary. Let's go ahead and ask it about some more specific, uh, more new movies. So Deadpool and Wolverine is coming out. Let's see how well it responds. Wolverine. A few moments later. So you would see Llama 3.1405 be struggling with latency and token speed per second uh, when you compare it with GPT-40. But uh, again, uh, we've covered it in the previous video that, you know, uh, there are some aspects which will be compromised, but there will be some wins. And here we go. <laughs> Finally! According to the search results, the rating for Deadpool and Wolverine are 80% on Rotten Tomatoes, certified fresh, which is right. Uh, Deadpool and Wolverine comes out this Friday, so that's accurate information. 
pretty cool stuff. So that's how you can build a minimalistic assistant uh, using the new open source model, uh, Llama 3.1405B and share it with your colleagues. Uh, you can build some, uh, you know, code reviewer assistant. You can build any assistant, which is very domain specific, relevant for your job title uh, within your school, college and whatnot. Uh, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.